What's up guys, it's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a thorough review on the Ulla Henriksen Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. So I'm gonna be testing this out for a full 30 days to see what it does to my oily and acne prone, super scarred skin. So yeah, if you guys wanna see me try this out for 30 days, then just keep watching. Okay, first, let's get the facts straight on this. This is the Ulla Henriksen Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. This claims to target dark spots, fine lines, and wrinkles, skin texture, and it claims to have high potency AHAs. So on Sephora.com, this retails for $28. It also has the Clean at Sephora seal of approval, and currently this is rated 4.3 out of 5 stars, with 89% of people recommending it. It's supposed to be good for normal, dry combination, and oily skin. This actually looks really cool. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Like in the little lid, it says make your dreams a reality. Well, my dream is to have have beautiful skin. <laughs> oh, I just love the packaging of this. It smells like you could drink this, like lemonade. Oh my gosh, don't drink this. It smells really good. <laughs> so this past year has been a little roller coaster for my skin. It got really clear and I was just having weeks of just clear skin and it was amazing because I've never experienced that in my life. And then summer hit, just the humidity and just sweat on my face really clogged my pores. Before we get started, I do want to show you just my overall skin super up close. So this is where we're starting out with. This side looks pretty good. There's like some redness just from overall past scarring. On my chin, just little acne going on right here. These are scars that are going on. And then on this side, as you can see, I do have a little bit of acne going on right there. Yeah, overall, my skin is looking pretty good today, actually. It's having a, having a better day. So how I'm kind of planning on doing this is that the first couple of days, I'm just gonna do a small test patch area just in case this product breaks out my entire face or gives me a rash. And if it like looks good after that, then I will apply it to my entire face. But let's try this. So directions, it says at night pour onto a cotton pad and swipe over clean dry face in a circular motion so it is currently monday october 14th at 9 35 p.m i just cleaned my face before bed i'm like nervous oh my goodness okay so it just says apply a little bit on a cotton round Ooh, very chilly Ooh, <laughs> that's really really cold okay we're just gonna do a nice test patch area Right here, it's, oh, it says in circular motions, my bad. Oh my goodness, it's on my face. And then it just says to apply your serums and moisturizers. So I'm gonna be following up with the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. If you guys wanna know more about this, I did a whole three-part series to me trying this out for nine months total. So go check that out for sure. So far, I'm not seeing any kind of redness or rash from it, which is really good. And then I'm gonna follow it up with my Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I feel like this is just like the placebo effect that this set already feels a little smoother. I kind of doubt so. All right, well, day one is complete. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Honestly, it doesn't look that much different. do a little bit of this. I will say I feel like it made the area look a little brighter. This is the side I put the toner. You know, it just looks like a little shinier. This guy's getting a lot bigger too. Doing a little bit right on the zit. See what happens, you know? For the past like eight months, I have been going dairy free. If I eat dairy, I will break out two days later. Like I will at least get one big cystic zit. So I've been cutting it back and I've noticed it's really, really helped with my skin overall. On my cheat days where I have like chocolate and stuff, I try to have a little bit, but tonight I just went all out and I had two pieces of pizza. In my mind, I'm just going, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it. But at the same time, like, it was really good. So if I break out in two days, it's most likely not because of this. It, it's most likely because I had dairy. Last night, I put it all over on this side, and I'm noticing some acne spots. Now, again, that could totally be from the pizza. And then on my chin is getting worse see that one got a little worse and then there's one that's forming below it that could easily be from the pizza i was gonna apply it to my entire face but honestly because 
I got this. I don't want to just yet. So I'm gonna just apply it to this half, maybe even bring it up to my forehead. This side looks a little healthier. This is just getting worse. It's currently Monday, October 21st. And so far, I'm actually starting to notice a little difference on the spots of my face where I'm actually using it, which I've started like just around here, then I moved to like here, then I moved to like here, my forehead and like this side. And about two days ago, I started going on this side. Now, my face is having like rashes on it right now for some reason. Yeah, I've just been kind of spritzing a lot on. I will say I wish it had like a better like applicator. Lately, I've just been doing very small, very light circular motions. I'm so scared to do it on my chin, but we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. Oh my gosh. I will say I've noticed after like I apply this that my skin has like a very shiny look to it. I'm just gonna finish applying my skincare routine because I genuinely need to go to bed really soon. So far, I feel like my skin has been looking brighter and just the overall feel, it feels smooth. Like normally I'm used to my skin feeling soft. There's a difference between soft and smooth. This side, the side where I started the toner on feels smoother than this side. So I'm curious if this side's gonna get like as smooth. But yeah, it said something about seven days you should start seeing results and I'm already like feeling results. I just wanted to document this. It is the morning of the 23rd in October. I just woke up and I just want to say, I feel like ever since I started doing this glycolic acid, I'm like so tired right now. I feel like my face feels oilier in the morning than normal. I feel like today it's a lot less oily, but I can still see a decent amount of oil on my face. My skin is starting to get a little itchy and it's starting to feel a little dry. I think it's just my, it's just a lot for my skin right now. I put on a lot less tonight than I normally do. I know it's like not good to do like a physical exfoliant and a chemical exfoliant, and I've been doing that with Clarisonic a little bit, even though I've been using a super gentle brush. So I don't know if I should take a break from the Clarisonic and just like continue with the glycolic acid or take a break from the glycolic acid for like maybe like one or two days. Today is October 27th, and guess what? There is not a zit. <laughs> oh, it's blurry. <laughs> Anywhere on my face. Like, my face is clear. That's a miracle. It really is a miracle. Today is Monday, October 28th. At about 8.51 p.m., I'm about to apply my Ole Henriksen Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. I don't have like any acne, so I've just been putting a little bit and I've been kind of going quickly. I'm not spending too long on an area. It's kind of like at the point I'm at, it's starting to like, especially like around my jawline, it like itches a little bit. Um, I'm just putting on my Ordinary Nice and my, it does, it just, I wouldn't say my skin feels dry. I would just say like it feels a little more dry than normal, especially since like the weather's been getting cooler and I've been turning the heat on in my car, like my skin's gonna be a little more dehydrated, I feel. Really all I have to say, I've been feeling like my skin overall looks more youthful, minus the rashes. I don't understand the rashes right now. And I've honestly just been loving the clear skin aspect of it. But yeah, any acne spot that's come up so far has gone away in like a day, maybe two days, like it forms but like goes away really quickly. So I think that's something that really amazes me. Oh, which I, I didn't film this because it was like super late here. I'm gonna put you on my bathroom counter. But yesterday I used my Clarisonic first. I washed it with like a new um, brush cleanser and that worked. No rashes after that. I don't know what to do at this point. It's like, do I continue using my Clarisonic or 
continue using i feel like using both is just gonna make my skin a little worse so i think i'm gonna skip this just for one night um give my skin like a little break monday november 4th at 9 4 p.m as you can see my chin isn't hasn't been doing so well compared to last week like i just looked at the footage at last week my skin looked good but like what is going on this week honestly i did eat dairy i had candy on halloween and then i went to like a friend gathering and i ended up having like some more dairy things it's kind of interrupting my experiment but at the same time as i said before like this is this is life you know you're not gonna be able to test one product out perfectly so i did decide to skip my clarisonic today and i do want to say that the day I decided to skip the toner because I felt like it was just getting a little too strong for my skin, I noticed it the next morning. My skin didn't feel as smooth as it did compared to when I applied the toner. I'm very nervous about this zit because this is going to be a big one. I can feel it. You know when you can just feel it? So I'm kind of freaking out about that just a little bit, but I think it's going to be a good test to see if this helps it at all because normally when I get a big zit like this, it's going gonna, it's gonna to last for a, about a week. Like just the whole process is going to last for about a week. Um, I just want to make a quick note. It is currently the 6th. I just want to zoom in on my chin really quick. You see, I'm getting all these little zits. I feel like that right there to me is a sign that my skin needs to chill. Maybe it's my Clarisonic. I don't know. On nights where I skip my Clarisonic, I feel like sometimes my skin's like a little better. It is currently Wednesday, November 13th at 11.16 a.m. It has officially been four weeks, technically 30 days, since I've introduced the Ulla Henriksen Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. First, I just want to tell you this is my skin. Week four, I am very, 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 very happy with it right now. Looking at my skin today, week four hello my skin is at a point where it's like plateaued at its brightness it's kind of plateaued at the texture of my skin like i don't feel like every day my skin's getting smoother and smoother overall my skin just looks less congested than when i started out with i do feel like i used to have like a bunch of little blackheads on my chin but those i feel like are starting to slowly go away i feel like my skin is almost to the point where it was at week two it's definitely clearing up i do have more scars from like the past couple of weeks this is the first time where my skin is actually like the clearest it's been since this summer and that has done phenomenal things to my confidence level i genuinely did not expect this product to work as well as it did like i heard it was good but like it was just one of those products that i thought was just really overhyped so at this point you are probably wondering should i try this product out this is a product i would definitely want to pick up again i feel like i am going to continue using this product in my routine i feel like it overall made my skin feel a lot smoother more youthful looking a little brighter and it has helped speed up the healing process of my acne scarring and just my overall acne it really helped reduce inflammation i feel like i could have totally avoided all the rashes and all the burning and all the itching if I wasn't using a physical exfoliant in combination with this. This past week I did stop using my Clarisonic altogether. Like I just wanted to see what this would do by itself and I've noticed a dramatic difference. I feel no more itching and I feel no more burning on my skin. Let that be a lesson to you all to always be very very careful which kind of products and exfoliants you are using together because it can make a big difference on your skin. But yeah I honestly couldn't recommend this product enough especially if you're looking for a gentle everyday exfoliator but again i am not a professional i am not a skin expert i genuinely am just experimenting on myself i really only know my skin and yes i could recommend products but you genuinely have to put in the research and you have to test to see what products work with your skin because some products that work 
brilliantly on my skin may totally break you out. But yeah, that kind of sums up my whole journey of trying out the Ulla Henriksen Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really, really does help support my channel. And question of the video, let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried out this toner and what your experience was with this. Have you had any experience with any other glycolic toners? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm always super, super curious with what you guys have to say about certain products. So yeah, let me know. Also, if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Amelia. <laughs> if you guys want to see more beauty tutorials, interviews, and just fun videos like this, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that is right down below. And be sure to hit the little notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button. This way you guys will get notified every Tuesday and Friday when I upload a brand new video. I hope you guys have a gorgeous, beautiful, youthful, bright rest of your day. And I will see you next time.